right, welcome back. A minute, to, a minute and a half to go. As you saw, the the bridge, that bridge is what uh, carries our, our crew members into the crew capsule, and that just retracted. That shows that the auto sequence has started, and we're going to uh, look at these final bit checks um, that are going to happen right now as we get ready for launch. All right, with uh, about 15 seconds to go, let's hand it over to Mission Control. shut off the main engines and now the vehicle is going to be coasting on its way on its journey uh, up to space and we see separation now through that right side of your screen you see the capsules now separating in distance away from the booster the views that astronauts would be getting if they were looking out the windows uh, on a flight like today would be just spectacular at this point Booster has uh, is finding its own apogee moment, and in a moment, it's going to start descending. All right, it has hit its apogee and is now descending back to West Texas. Next up, we're going to see uh, the drag brakes inside the wing, the ring fin. They're going to deploy, and that's going to dramatically cut that speed of the, of the booster back down. re-entry velocity at this point just under Mach 4 and those wedge fins as you've noted are going to start decreasing the uh, speed of the vehicle as the vehicle is encountering more and more atmosphere on its way back to West Texas. There's a sonic boom that we hear on descent. And there we have engine relay. The landing lights are deploying. That new Shepard hover. Touchdown. Welcome home, New Shepard. Meanwhile, the crew capsule is continuing to ascend to its own apogee. And there we have the capsule. The drogues have deployed. We'll see that capsule start to slow down as it descends into the valley at launch site one.
It looks like the main chutes are out. Touchdown. You see that plume of dust in the desert that is uh, caused by that last puff of air that comes out of the capsule at the very last second.